All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So some uh, pretty exciting news for my fellow global players out there. As you can see from the in-game news, Dokkan Now Volume 3 is officially on the way, dropping on uh, November 16th, 2020 at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I guess for me, that would be November 17th at 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which kind of sucks a little bit late, but honestly, I'm used to it at this point, so of course we are going to be doing a live viewing together because that's always a good time. And uh, I really don't know what to expect from this one, guys. Like, this completely caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting a new Dokkan now right now. Like, I was thinking maybe for Christmas, if there was going to be a global first or something, then we would, we would get one at that time. But it's much earlier than I thought it would be. And... You know, one other thing is I thought that we were on volume four at this point because we've had three Dokkan Nows, you know, before this, right? The first one was for the Christmas celebration where they revealed Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. And then after that, the second one was for Saiyan Day where they revealed um, AGL transforming Bardock. And then the last one was for the worldwide celebration where we got the details for Buhan and... Uh, Megiddo. So this technically should be Dokkan Now Volume 4. I'm just saying. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Maybe they made a mistake. Maybe the last one didn't count as an official Dokkan Now. I'm not really sure. But regardless, something big is coming, I think. I mean, there are a few different possibilities for what they could reveal in this Dokkan Now. And uh, it could range from you know, stuff that we already knew that's like not as exciting, like still exciting, but not as hype to possibly some completely brand new stuff that is definitely much more hype, right? So uh, let's talk about the possibility. So first things first, a lot of people seem to think that this is simply for the reveal of uh, the LR Super Saiyan Blue Captain Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, which could be the case, right? The Blue Boys is definitely a pretty big deal. Um, a lot of people are looking forward to them, so... Uh, I definitely think that, you know, there's a chance, right, that the reveal of the Dokkan now is specifically to give us the details and show us the animations and the English, you know, uh, voice lines for the active skill for the LR Blue Boys. And that'd be fine, that'd be cool, but not super hype, mainly because, you know, anybody that follows the JP news that's, you know, up to date with what's happening on JP already knows about them, so this wouldn't be anything new right it would just be like rehashing the same things we already were expecting but there's also the chance that it could be a global first unit on the way right because like i said they usually reveal or reserve the dokkan now programs for big celebrations or global first right so we had super saiyan blue kaku goku for one of them and then uh transforming bardock while not a global first it was a new unit that nobody knew about and then same thing for the uh, Dual Dokkan Fest for the Worldwide Celebration, right? Even though it wasn't a Global First, it was still new units for both sides. So I feel like there's also a decent chance, yeah, that we could get a Global First revealed here. No idea whatsoever what it could be. Maybe an LR Kid Boo. We are really like super overdue for that. And a lot of people have been asking for it. So maybe Bandai finally decided to answer our prayers. I mean, if this was like a year ago and someone said global first LR Kid Boo, I'd be like, you're crazy, man. There's no way they would give global something that hype first. But, you know, LR UI Goku was a global first. So if they could give us UI Goku, a new LR Ultra Instinct Goku, you know, for global first, then anything is possible, right? So I'm not gonna say you know anything more about that because this is just pure speculation. I could say any character and it has a decent chance or at least somewhat of a chance to be correct, right? Like I could say we're gonna get the first ever Garlic Jr. in Dokkan on Global First revealed in this Dokkan Now Volume 3 and there's nobody that could say I'm wrong until we actually get the program, right? So yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Let me know in the comments down below guys if a Global First does happen to be revealed in this program, what are you expecting? Or maybe more so, what are you hoping for? Like what character would you want as the next global first if it was to be revealed here, okay? Of course, there's also the chance that we get global first Extreme Z Awakening or Extreme Z Awakenings 
um, with this program or with the next celebration too, because we've had that before with Vegito Blue, right? So, uh, wait, was it Vegito Blue or Rose? No, Vegito Blue was first. So yeah, maybe something like that too, um, with the LR Kid Boo possibly. We get like a, a Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks Extreme Z Awakening, like a global first 120 lead EZA that JP hasn't had yet. That'd be kind of cool. I'd be totally, totally down for that. You know, just give us global players something to hold over the JP side for just a brief moment because they've had some really awesome stuff recently that uh, I'm honestly pretty salty about, like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, mad hype, right? And uh, they've just had some great events, Mass Saiyan EZA, uh, LR First Form Frieza, Extreme Z Awakening, all that good stuff. So I think we're due, honestly, for a global first unit and a global first extreme sea awakening but uh again right all this stuff is pure speculation so don't take it as fact or news until we get uh, some more details from bandai or from one of the leakers like i seriously or something like that okay and uh i guess the third possibility and this one actually seems quite likely because of the timing is uh they might be revealing a uh heroes collab coming to both global and jp right because usually for these heroes collabs, JP gets them first, and then Global will get it a little bit later. But, you know, maybe this year they decided to give us the collab at the same time with the new characters. It seems to be a bunch of Super Saiyan 4s on the way. We don't really know the exact characters, but Super Saiyan 4 Broly's name has been thrown around. Uh, Limit Breaker, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, and maybe another one, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, there is a heroes collab on the way, and the timing makes sense because um, they're actually doing the 10th anniversary Dragon Ball Heroes stream and reveal uh, tomorrow on the 15th, right? So maybe after the reveal, they're going to do the Dokkan now and uh, talk about the upcoming collab on Dokkan and what characters we could get for the new banner. So that's the third possibility. It could just be part of the stream with like a new character reveal. Like right now, I have no idea what's going on. I'm really just throwing any ideas out that come to my mind right now it's super super late so it might be I might be a little bit delirious not sure if that's obvious but uh, regardless that's pretty much what we got right now which is not a lot but Dokkan now volume 3 is coming we are going to be watching it together I'll keep you guys posted about any news that comes out either before during or after the program I uh, do expect some Dragon Stones to come from this because usually for Dokkan now programs we do get uh, at least a few stones right like five 10. Uh, the last one I think we got 50 because JP got the live stream where they got 50 so um, that was like a bunch of stones but don't expect that many for this one. But uh, yeah guys expect some something to be announced in the near future whether it's something we already knew or some other things that we had no idea was coming. Um, I'm definitely hoping for some new information something that just comes out of nowhere but we'll have to see. Once again let me know in the comments down below if we get a global first and what would you like to see, whether it's Global First Units, or Global First Extreme Z Awakenings, or Global First Events, whatever you have in your mind, let us know in the comments down below. And uh, that's it guys, that is the video, thank you so much for watching, hope you're excited for the Stokon now, and as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.